Hi, I'm Cedric. What's your name? Diane Young to room three, please. Cedric Jones to room four, please. Mr. Jones, I'm ready when you are. Come on in. Take a seat. Okay. Let's get on with this. Let's. Well. Go on. Um, I'm Joanne. They've assigned me to your case. Wait, wait, wait. My, my case? Yes, your termination, sir. I'm here to outline your terms. I take care of what happens next. Yeah, hang, hang on, hang on. <laughs> like... Have I been fired? <laughs> You've not been fired, but you'll no longer have to work in that role from today. Yeah, 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 but, I mean, that's... Like, that's the very definition of being fired, though, isn't it? So... Like, where do I stand on that? Okay, how about I run through the agenda for today, and if you have any more questions at the end, we'll leave time to answer them. All right. Okay. The code of conduct has been breached multiple times in several categories. You've had a colourful few years, according to our records. Ooh, there's code, is there? <laughs> Didn't know that. All right, then, come on. Enlighten me about these colourful years. It should be good. Okay, um, evidence has been presented that you flippantly abuse the work expense system for business entertaining activities, which can only be described as sordid events. No, I didn't do that. You got the wrong guy. And of course, there was the incident with the train to Aberdeen, which you did get a very heavy reprimand for. I didn't know about that. Just another misunderstanding. But... Mr. Jones, you don't think things like that go unnoticed, do you? And between you and I, there is no other way that situation can yeah, be interpreted. Yeah, who, um, who told you about any of this? Was it that snake from marketing, Dave? There are rules, Mr. Jones. Yeah, yeah, I know it was him. It was him, wasn't it? Look, listen, that guy, I swear to you, he's had it out for me, he has done for years. Okay, you shouldn't believe a word he says, he's full of bullshit. Look, this isn't about one isolated incident. This is a culmination of multiple incidents. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need a lawyer on this one. Or a union rep, at least. No, that won't be necessary. What are you accusing me of? Just tell me. At times, your choices have been contentious and at times cruel. I had a really good example, but it escapes me. Uh -huh. uh, go on. There we go. Um, you missed your wife's mother's funeral to go and watch the rugby. Well, yeah, yeah, I, 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 did, I did do that, but um, <laughs> what, what, what has that got to do with work? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't have to explain it to you, so. Well, actually you do. Excuse me. As I said before, I am here to help to decide what happens to you next, okay? And based on the information that I have, you are in line for less than favorable aftercare. But I am actually trying to assist you. Okay, so what you're saying is, um, you're the one who decides my future here. I help to decide. Okay. Well, look, yeah, those instances, sure. 
yeah, I may not have behaved the best. But I'm not a bad guy, Joanne. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who would be I'm more than happy to ratify that for you. Really? Mm. Because I have it down here that your more common personality traits were being churlish, immature and crass. And that came mostly from colleagues and ex-lovers. Can I see that? Eh? Um, excuse me. Who are those sources? That's complete nonsense. That's not, that's not true at all. Look, I understand that these sessions can be difficult for people in your position. Sometimes the things that are the most important for us to acknowledge about ourselves are the most difficult to hear. But you have to try and take it as constructive criticism. No, like, I, I don't know who you think you're talking to right now, but you clearly, you have no idea who I am, clearly. This is, this is all just a big mistake, clearly. I know exactly who you are, Mr. Jones. And I know you better than you think. For instance, I know how you pretend to your friends to like fine art to seem sophisticated. But the last time you were actually in a gallery was 2017, and that was to use the toilet. You lie to every charity volunteer on the street collecting donations, saying that you already donate to their cause. <laughs> Come on, everyone does that, they're the worst. Okay. How about when you told your then girlfriend, now wife Jenny, that you joined a football five-a-side team? But where you really were every Wednesday evening was hooking up to your PA and your sister. So let's just put the nonsense aside. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I can recognise I haven't uh, particularly acted. Respectfully, many times. Recently, uh, I, I can recognise that, but you don't know me, all right? Like, I am, I am sorry for certain things I've done, especially the train. Never should have done that to a priest. Look, I've just, um, I've just, I've been having a hard time recently dealing with things. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I am. Acceptance is the first step. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And of course, yeah, the stealing, do I, I feel really bad about that. I feel terrible about it. The stealing? Yeah. I wasn't aware. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I... Works laptop, intellectual property from the app. I choose me up inside, all that stuff. It's not my finest hour at all. Right. I, I mean, I didn't steal that much, though. <laughs> I'll clarify that if you want to write that, that down somewhere. Um, and you, you know, uh, while we're kind of going over the past, all that stuff with the PA, it, it, purely, purely physical. Please. Okay? It was not a strong stop. emotion. My, please, you know, please oh, stop. You... Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Sorry. There are instances that we can overlook. Okay, it hasn't all been bad. Your fierce loyalty to your friends and family hasn't gone unnoticed. If only you knew. You showed great compassion and kindness to Saren when she lost her parents. And we recognize that you really did try for your mother. And as for Leo, you truly did save that one. You don't know me, okay? Don't know, don't, don't pretend like you do. Have you ever even been through half a shit? I don't need you to feel sorry for me. I could do it all by myself. Because you have never even been through half of the shit. No, you know, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I don't need you. I don't need you to feel sorry for me. I don't need that. I just need you to tell me what I can do so I can get the hell out of here. Thank you very much. That's all I want from you. I am sorry for what happened to you. You haven't got the first idea what I've been through. Yeah, yeah. It's 
been hurt. Now I've got nothing left to care for, for a start. Look, all that stuff that happened to Leo. It didn't just happen to him, you know, it like, like, happened, like, like happened to me too. I know. You know what, um, it's all right, can we, I don't really want to talk about this stuff. Uh, is it okay if we just skip past it? So that's who we're kidding. All this, you, you really decided that I'm a bad person anyway. You really made up your mind, didn't you? You know what I am. So let's just move on. On the contrary. Based on these selfless deeds. And if you can demonstrate the capacity to grow and change the way that you do things, then I would be compelled to offer you an olive branch. But you must know your behavior, it's not okay. No one can choose to live the way you've lived and expect an easy ride. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, I can, I want to, I want to. I, I have to ask, how? Yeah, um... <clears throat> well... I know I, I still need to figure some things out... about myself. That's a start, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know, um... I haven't exactly uh, dealt with that time in my life, and it, it, it does. It, it yeah, it, it does. It does sort of let me know. I know I need to deal with my issues better. Yeah, I need to. I need to. I want. I want to. I want to. The option is there to enter a short probationary period where you would have to prove that, Mr. Juran. No, you know, look, look I, I can do it. I want to, I've just told you, I can do it. And I want to believe you, I, I really do, okay? But please, take your probation seriously and your situation will be significantly improved. No, no, listen, yeah, I, I hear all that, I hear you, but I, I will, okay? You just, you just gotta trust me on this. You just gotta trust me. Okay. Give me a moment and I'll just make some adjustments. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's fine. Okay, we're all set. Oh, man. Oh. God, that's a relief. So I'm good. I'm totally good now. Good to go. Great. Amazing. Wicked. So where do I go? How do I get out of there? Out the door, straight down the corridor, and turn right. Just that way down there? That way. Yeah. Down there. Upstairs. They'll take good care of you. Okay. Thank you. Really, honestly, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh, you know, you know, Joanna, I, you know, I, I could leave now or I could stay for a little while, maybe, uh, if you wanted me to. Why would you stay, Mr. Jones? Oh, you know, just like, just like get to know each other. I mean, I'm in no I will rush, stop so. you there, Mr. Jones. Firstly, that is inappropriate and immensely unprofessional. Okay, secondly, I know pretty much everything that you've ever done, which kind of kills any spark. So please stop. Yeah, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, of course, no, you're right. Uh, 
another time, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You suffer from a severe lack of judgment, Mr. Jones. So fucking relax, okay? Just messing around. I really thought you understood the gravity of the situation. Why don't you just shut the fuck up for five seconds? <sighs> wow. I'm sorry. You know, I don't know where that came from. I'm just stressed, okay? I'm just a bit... Forget it. Mr. Jones? Yep. I believe I've made an error. It's it's actually downstairs for you. Downstairs? Yes, definitely downstairs. Head down, take the lift, and they'll take good care yeah, of you. Yeah, sure, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. downstairs and they're gonna, they're gonna sell me out down there, so. Oh, that's a shame. I'm so sorry to hear that. Esterblock. Yeah, what do you mean by that, sorry? Excuse me. Hey. Thank you. 